This is Dina with another video. With another video. And I'm here once again with another video with Zeke because he wanted to get killed. So say hi, Zeke. Hi. training my son this uh, week and I started off on Monday and it hasn't been as easy of course but yeah I've been body training my son this uh, week and uh, what I first noticed to uh, start him off getting potty trained was that he will take off his diaper a lot and that's one of the signs that I first noticed that he needed to get potty trained. Um, he also kind of turns to hide that he has boo boo and pee pee. Sometimes, because I'm talking about asking if he has boo boo and pee pee, and he will tell me uh, no. <laughs> but it's obvious you can smell it. So, um, at times it's very hard to potty train children, of course because their speech is not all the way but it is also good to potty train them because you know you don't want to keep them in that habit so it's better to just go ahead and potty train them when you can so uh, what I first did is that uh, I took a week off off work which is very helpful because you can focus mainly on potty training your kid instead of you know work and then come home potty train them sometimes you're tired and not you don't feel like um, you know how training your kids so you know taking a week off of work is actually pretty good um, some people don't have the uh, money capabilities or to do that but if you can do that you know it'll help you a lot to focus mainly on your kids and so what I've been doing in my tactics tactics uh, pie training my kid is um, I started off with uh, putting on the underwear because I read that um, supposedly you put the underwear on they feel that they're wet and you know they start learning that they don't want to be wet and you know start going to the restroom like that and then you teach them you know, that they can't be wet or whatever but that tactic was not working for me so um, what he will basically do is he will pee in his um, underwear and lay in the pee while his underwears were like filled with pee. So um, that didn't work. So I went ahead and started the uh, no underwear, no shorts at all, basically almost naked. He would just have his shirt on. So um, that actually worked better for him. Because I could also hear, you know, when he's uh, peeing on the floor or something, because I have tiles. So I can hear when he's peeing on the floor. And also, um, it's easier for him. He don't have to pull down anything. He doesn't have to pull down, you know, a pull up. He doesn't have to pull down no, um, uh, no underwear or shorts or anything like that. So he's already free to, you know, quickly go to the toilet and use his uh, potty to use the restroom. So, um, I think I got him to pee in his potty two times, I think, on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I didn't potty train him. And I think on Wednesday, I didn't potty train him either. And right now, I'm kind of potty training him also while I'm doing this video. <laughs> right now, he's sitting in his potty. Um, I don't know if he peed yet, but he's sitting in there. So, um... Yeah, so basically what you do is just, you know, if he pees on the floor or anything like that, I basically um, tell him he doesn't, he's not supposed to pee right there, that he needs to pee in his potty. And he quickly understands that too, because I make it simple for him. I point at where he peed, and I go, uh, no pee pee here. And he gets that. He knows what no is, and he also knows what pee pee is. 
So I go, no pee pee here. And then I point towards his potty. And I go, pee pee here. And he quickly understands that that's where he's supposed to use the restroom. So, um, that's what I'm working with right now. And, uh, hopefully it keeps working. <laughs> and hopefully I can get him to the point where he can have underwear on. And he could go to the restroom and just pull down his underwear because, you know, he can't go everywhere but naked, you know, go public wise. So uh, right now I'm starting off with that tactic because it's, it's easier for him. And um, it seems like he gets it more when I do that tactic than doing the underwear. And um, I feel like the underwear, he thinks it might be a diaper still. And so he just goes ahead and pees and then doesn't have a problem with it. Um, some kids, that tactic works, you know, they feel that they're wet and they don't like it. So that works for some kids, but unfortunately for mine, it did not work. So, um, I'm going to keep doing this tactic and then after a while, I'm going to go into, you know, putting underwear, probably only. And then after that, underwear and shorts or, um, or just shorts and then the underwear and the shorts. And then, um... I, and yeah that so I still haven't gotten him to use the the poop in his potty and I'm trying to get him to do that one too so he can know you know that's where he's supposed to do it um in the past he has um he was sick and he did um use the poop in there but he's not um used to it yet so I'm trying to get him to poop in there too. And then um, also what I do is that, you know, after he uses the restroom, I uh, go ahead and, you know, let him take out the little cup holder and he takes it to the restroom, pours it in the toilet, flushes the toilet. Um, after that, I wash the little, um, the little cup. And then uh, I teach him to wash his hands, of course, and then dry it back and um, it's kind of fun for him so it actually teaches him you know that uh, it's, it's a fun experience for him so um, I reward him whenever he pees in his potty oh, I reward him whenever he pees in his potty and you know he really likes it he's happy whenever he pees in his potty we're like yay you know you gotta give him some kind of motivation Ezekiel I tried to party train this one too, but um, it was too much going on. <laughs> too many kids. One of them was peeing and the other one was peeing and there was just confusion. But um, the age that you can typically party train your kids is 18 months through 3 years old. So that's the age limit. Um, depending on your child and um, how quick they learn, they can learn between those ages. Of course, boys are going to learn a little bit later or take longer to uh, learn how to pee and than girls. So, um, just be um, encouraged to, you know, teach your kid how to potty train. Um, sometimes it could be difficult because sometimes they don't pee in their potty and they pee somewhere else. So, for some parents, it could be kind of um, a hassle, especially if you have carpet. It could get complicated. It can get complicated and confusing and stuff and then sometimes your kid might uh, regress at times because of constipation and stuff like that that causes the child to regress and um, start peeing on themselves or using the restroom on themselves again and they party train so if your child is regressing do not get disappointed it happens so um just try to encourage your kid whenever he does use the restroom it usually makes it more fun for them you know Know, start clapping your hands or something you know just congratulate that they use the restroom and they feel like big kids as soon as you know that does happen so um, just keep these topics in mind whenever you start party training your kid of course I'm probably do another video at the end of this week to kind of talk about you know how this whole party situation went um, I probably won't have potty trained um, by the end of the week, I know that, because I feel like I don't potty train them constantly, because I have other stuff to do also, 
But um, I felt like if I would have constantly potty trained them this whole week, because some people, um, they won't leave the house a whole week and, you know, they'll potty train their kid. But um, after a while, I get, no, <laughs> I got to do other stuff. So um, I think about, like, uh, let me see, about the whole, like, from probably, like, from 5 all the way to, like, 10. I, I probably train my kid because that's the time, that's my downtime. So, um, that's basically what I do. So, just figure out what works for you and um, just stay positive. That's, that's, that's all it takes for potty training. And um, don't get frustrated. It's going to all work out at the end. So, you know, this is all for this video today. And um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this content. And I hope that y'all subscribe and, you know, like this video and stay yourselves informed with everything that's going on with this channel. Um, by next week, I think I'm going to have a new camera. So, camera quality is going to go up. So, get ready for that. And um, hopefully everything works out with that situation. And thanks for watching. And have a nice day, night, or whenever you see this. Bye.